guys, I'm Hannah. I'm a senior at Carlisle High School. And an interesting fact about me is that in sixth grade, I was bullied by a goat. She cornered me in a horse stall and just rammed and rammed and rammed. And it did not end <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> so that's my fun fact. And today we're going to be talking about the comparison trap and how easy it is to fall into. We, um, as individuals, tend to compare ourselves to other people and what they have and what we don't have. So a little story that really reminded me of this was called Emperor's New Clothes. And it's a children's book, but it's funny how children's books can be so relatable. And the story is about an emperor who like has all these marvelous things and he's still not happy and two suitors come along and tell him we can make this incredible cloak for you and they so he gives them all these all this jewels and all this money so that they'll make it for him and when they do they find he puts it on and he's like I don't see anything and they're like well you have it on and he doesn't see it so he goes on and on about how beautiful this jacket is and um, the whole city falls in and is like oh it's so beautiful but in reality he's just walking around in his boxers and doesn't have anything on so all right guys this is a big picture so the king compared himself through the views of what he thought the others viewed him and because of this he wanted to see what the others saw. So I want you guys to sit back and talk about um, about some questions, whether how you compared yourself or how others were compared to you, whether it's physically, materialistic, inside, outside, no matter what it was. Just sit back, have a good conversation, and we'll be right back. I can never look that good. How does that shirt look so nice? I wish my hair could look like that. How did they get so beautiful? I bet all the guys go after them. The makeup is perfect. Those jeans were made. In Psalms 118.8, it says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in a man. Finding confidence in what the Lord has made you to be instead of comparing yourself to Instagram or a magazine that you find on a shelf or other people that are walking down the hallway, you need to find your confidence in what He has made you to be. You know, we all have beauty that God created for us to be as individuals, and none of us are the same. Um... When we compare ourselves to others, it's like we're degrading what he has created. It. So if you just think about how if we were all to be alike, how boring that would be, and that every all of us are made beautifully in our own way, and all of us have something special to offer the world. And if we were all the same, none of those special aspects would jump out. You would, if I mean, if Steve Jobs would have followed every idea that Microsoft had to offer, he wouldn't have had, to have had the success that he had, you know? So I think if we all find our own selves and all the quirks that we have to offer the world, it's going to be such a beautiful place, and that's why God created us to be like that. Another place in Scripture that um, the Lord talks about how beautiful we are as individuals is in Ezekiel. And he says, you are very beautiful and become a queen. Then you become famous among the nations because you were so beautiful. Your beauty was perfect because, because of the glory I gave you, says the Lord God. And through this, we know that everyone can be something. Everyone is something special. It's not defined from someone else or what you see on social media or throughout the society. It's all in... Um, the glory that he made you to be. He, everyone is perfect in his image. 
So through this scripture, we find that through his glory, we can find our identity. And that's what is important. And that's what he really wants us to be is just everything that he created us to be. Now, as I think about myself and my struggles that I've had with comparing myself to other people and other people comparing themselves to me, I only can think about negative things that I've made myself feel. And it's done nothing but to hurt my self-confidence, hurt my self-esteem, the way I view myself. Um, It's hurt my lack of, like, I just feel like what I can do is never what someone else could do. And I struggled with this a lot through middle school and even into high school. And I mean, I still struggle with it, but it's something you have to work on. Um, As an athlete, I'm constantly working for my position. So I compare myself to other people in that position and what they can do better. And it's, it's like, well, if they can catch that ball and I can't catch that ball, then that makes them automatically better than I. Therefore, they deserve the position. And I just put myself down and I have no confidence that I can do the same thing. Or I've also struggled with looking on Instagram and just seeing, wow, you know, she she has the perfect hair. And like, and then I look in my mirror and I'm like, I wish I could have hair just like that, you know what I mean? And I've done nothing but tear myself down and everything that I thought about myself. And that is terrible to think about yourself because God wanted you to be who you are, and he made you to look like this for a reason. So just learning to embrace that has been difficult and is still challenging, but um, by working through it with friends and just being honest with myself that it does happen to me still, and and it did happen a lot, I've been able to work through it by prayer and just support, and um, even just finding myself, like becoming more confident in who I am and who I want to be, and um, and everything that the like I can offer the world and what God has created me to be has really helped me to move through that. So I hope that through this you can have some honest conversations with your group, and that you can, when you struggle with the comparison trap. You can turn it over to God and find all of your beauty and your success through Him.